Loading. Loading. Bro, I haven't heard this song in a minute. Somebody told me that I should listen to it again and compare it to our modern times. So I'm trying to figure out what it meant by it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> what is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And it's your boy, Don Want to be back in the house once again. So this is interesting because I've heard Californication. Um, the hook stands out to me. I don't even remember what the lyrics are about. So I don't either. And, and here's the thing, right? Sometimes you have these abstract songs or the lyrics are kind of abstract. And when I listen to it, I'm like, yo, it's just kind of gibberish. They're just kind of saying stuff and there's no deeper meaning. Yeah. I, I think sometimes you can put too much thought into it and think like, oh, this artist is trying to do this when it's like, oh, they're just like putting together some random thoughts. And it's not that deep, bro. It's just like a good song. It's not that deep. Yeah. Right. But somebody told me I need to listen to it. And they're just like, hey, just compare what's going on now. I don't know. Maybe they're tripping. So I want to listen to it and really try to catch, like, what were they talking about? The other thing was when I first heard this song, I was like, what is Californication? Is it, like, making love to California or I love California? Is that the concept? Like, you know, Cali you know California fornicating? Like, I was just like, the name is ill how they put that together. But it is. I never really took the time. To be like, what does this mean? Well, the other thing is, is like when you think about fornication, typically when it's said that specific way, it's talking about like a biblical thing about it being like bad. Like you're yeah. like, you're allowing your desires to overtake you. Interesting. All right, you guys. Well, that's what we're about to do right now. Um, we're about to revisit Californication, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And honestly, I'm about to listen to this for the first time with my adult ears in mind. Yeah. You know? All right, let's get it, you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Here we go. 40. 40 year old what, what? boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old what? boys what? are back in town. What? The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. Should we bring up the closed captions so we don't miss the lyrics? Um, I mean, look. Let me see if it's on. If it ain't, I was just going to pull up the lyrics and read, but we'll see. see sometimes look at that line right there. Yo, let's, let's put it on the screen so they can see it, and then we'll call it out because they can't <laughs> see what we're talking about right now. You guys. I thought you brought it up, bro. I'm just starting to go through the spiel that I do. <sighs> let me get the logo down and pull the video Hyped. up. In the meantime, if you guys could support the original content on the channel, we'd love you for that. And shout out to our love members. Love you long time. If you want to join up with the membership on the channel, link is in the description. You get access to all this stuff early, yeah. uh, what we're doing behind the scenes, etc. Behind the now, scenes. Now, Don asked me to pull up closed caption. I pulled it up, and in, interesting enough, it says, Psychic spies from China try to steal your mind elation. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I never knew that was a lyric. In like, this is one of the biggest radio hits in a set. Like, this has a billion views, bro. Does it really? <laughs> this what we're reacting to has one point one billion views. That's and wild. it's one of the biggest radio songs. I this is why I wasn't going to even react to this because I was like, I've heard it. I don't want to come on here in front and be like, oh, first time reaction, never heard. Yeah, yeah. dude, I've heard the song. It's huge. But when you told me someone told you to revisit it, I was like, I literally only remember that. Because I think it's almost 20 years old now. Yeah. But I, I don't know what the f he's talking about. So I was like, let's do it, man. And if people show up, they show up. All right, you guys. So here we are. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. Isn't this interesting? Where we're at in 2024 and like the GTA. This is like mm -hmm. a GTA scheme. Yeah. Anyways, all right, you guys, um, as Colorado turns more to like California, I wonder what this is about. Here we go. Red Hot Chili Peppers, California. Cation. All right, so it's a video game loading. Bro, that sound at the beginning is just so classic. Pegasus, I mean, Alicorn. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's California. 
vacation. Holy oh. shit. Bro, that's kind of wild. Little girls from Sweden? Like, who does that make you think of? I mean, no one in particular who's... Is it, isn't that where... Uh, what's your name is from? The... Uh, how dare you? Oh, Thornburg. Why would you think? I'm thinking he's talking about actresses trying to get deals, and he's talking about California Maybe. being like this yeah. place where all these things happen. So I, yeah, I never even thought of Greta. That's who you're talking about. It's the edge of the world in all of Western civilization. The sun may. It's understood that Hollywood sells Californication. Hey, I'll start your marrow while they break the spell of aging. Celebrity skin is this your gender? Is that war you're waging? First born unicorn. This yeah, is, it's, it's much deeper than like, again, it's like, I think you probably had the same reaction. You hear it. You're not really, at least me. Let me just speak I for myself. I never knew any of these lyrics till right now. That's what and I'm this saying. is deep. And what's crazy is these are California boys. Yes. These are Cali guys. And they're like, yo, it's not all what you think it is. It's like this fantasy, this dream world, this fake, the Holly weird. And he's like, yo, we're selling this. This is what we sell. And like you said, with fornication, it's not good. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. Did I ever tell you my dad brought me like uh, he, you know, after my parents got divorced, he's off on his voyages throughout the world. I don't hear from a while. He just shows up and I'm probably like seven years old. So it was in the eighties and he comes to town and he's got a leather jacket for me and a sticker. I wish I still had it. He had, he brought me a couple stickers, red hot chili peppers. And he's like, this is this like little band. He's like this little band that I saw playing in some like little bar. Your dad and has I seen so much. He, you guys like Tomas, this fool just kind of traveled the world selling antiques, wilding out. And he's just seen so many crazy things, bands, rap groups in their in their smallest times. Because he was like, he kind of had that. He punk. put me on game and it told me to go see Lady Gaga. He's like, you've got to go check out Lady Gaga. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's playing in Denver at the Gothic Theater. Think about that. And I lived two blocks away from the Gothic theater. And I know my dad enough by this time that I was like, sure. So I went to go see Lady Gaga at the Gothic theater, you know, before she blew up just that's, on his recommendation. That's crazy. And it was a crazy show, of course, but All we're right. getting sidetracked. But like the line where it's talking about you pay your surgeon to fight off father time. I mean, it's just crazy. It's, it's so poetic, it's abstract, and it's just right here hidden in one of the biggest commercially successful songs mm -hmm. of all time. And then he's talking about the, you know, corn industry. Yep. Mary McGill, be my favorite to the world, be my very own constellation. A teenage dad with a baby inside getting high on information And buy me a star on a bullet rod, it's Californication Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement In Cobain, can you hear the sphere singing songs off station to station? And now they're all not far away, it's Californication. Hold on, I want to go back. Alderaan? That's like a planet or something? Like oh, yeah, Star Wars. That's where Luke's from. Alderaan. Oh, that's that's why weird. I knew it. But that whole Cobain scheme, the, all of that was like... 
Well, it's wild because I think this is why my friend brought it up because he's kind of into conspiracy stuff a little bit too. Yeah. But he was just saying, like, listen to the line where he says, like, space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Because we were talking about how... Uh, the moon landing. The moon landing. Yep. Sheesh. And how some of that, you know, footage they're saying was at the very minimum, like, you know... Altered. Altered for propaganda reasons. I've heard those things. I haven't dove into What's that. What's the director's name? He did a... Stanley Kubrick? Yes, yeah, Stanley Kubrick. And you know the whole, like, theory surrounding him, right? From you. They say, You're the one who told me about it, and I kind of... That's why I... Knew. So I love Kubrick films. I'm just like, how is he so afraid of his time? But you were like, yo, it's because he knew about, like, I think the CIA stuff Well, or they're, they're saying that they hired him to do that footage, that they hired oh. him to do the footage of the moon landing. He says that, right? And then... Um, the Shining, apparently there's all this encoded stuff about it where he like talks about it. And then his very final movie was Eyes Wide Shut, which is like on some Epstein type of stuff, right? I want to see that movie. That's the one with cut. Tom Cruise. He had a director's cut. Yes, he had a director's cut that he took to the studio and they told him we're not going to put this out. And then he died like two weeks later. And that footage of the director's cut is nowhere to be seen. It, it disappeared. I don't know how to take this now. It's creepy, isn't it? This is creepy as... Because he's saying everybody's been there and not on vacation. Like, where do you go on vacation? You know what I mean? To an island, everybody's been there, but not on vacation. And he's saying, like, by dreams of people control the population. Like, whatever. What is this song really about, Bro, dude? What? Yo, we're going down a weird path, you guys. So <laughs> we're not thinking of what you're thinking of. You're probably like, yeah, this is an amazing song. We're thinking of something else. It is an amazing First song. Firstborn unicorn. The, I know. That's what I'm saying. Then we go into soft. Yes. My firstborn. Yes. My rainbow baby. My unicorn. And the song is called Californication. And he's like. And we know what happens in Hollywood. What yes, they do to children. Yes. Yes. That's why I'm saying, dude. Like, I'm getting goosebumps. This is creepy to me. I feel like I'm uh, uh, Indiana Jones, and I'm about to find the the lost ark. And I'm like, oh, sh they're trying to get me. This is weird, dude. Yeah. This is freaking me out, low key. That's why I'm saying. And then, and then you're like, are they telling us this to help us, or are they advocating it? <sighs> I mean, are they giving us gems and keys to follow to help open the door and stop some? Sh or are they just like, hey, this is just what it is? This is weird, yo. Okay, we might be off the rails. Y'all probably about to cancel us. I I never, I was like, yo, what are they talking about? Mm -hmm. This is weird, dude. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Dream of This dude's voice is so unique. It is crazy They're how good sound. he is. Oh my lord. They're so unique and original. I wonder who does all the writing. This video is kind of trippy. An earthquake out to a girl's guitar that just another good vibration And tidal waves couldn't save the world from chaos 
I mean, they and went downstairs. They're in the, mag- the magma. Or the core of the earth. Yeah. After the earthquake. Interesting. Okay. I'm not, I, you know, I don't want to go off this because maybe it's simpler than I, I think, right? But the, I, I don't know. But what I'm going to say is overall, overall, you can go two ways. You can go surface level or we can go deep conspiracy mm-hmm. with this one. Because there's some stuff in there that I was like, okay, this is a little crazy. Now that I re listen to it with my adult ears, yeah. I've been through some experiences in America and seeing where we're at in 2024. Now, what I'm going to say, the very surface level, but it's deep, but it's dope. To me, it's right here in front of us. It's saying the California dream, the Hollywood dream. I'm yeah. California dreaming. Yeah. You remember Mamas and Papas, California dreaming, California dream, the Hollywood dream is self-deprecating. It is, uh, 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 it's, oh man, I had the word before we went into this, but the California dream. It's not is, all it's cracked up to be. Yes. You know what I mean? That there's a dark side to it. Yes. Yes. A very dark side. Yeah. And even the world crumbling couldn't stop the Californication. Mm-hmm. being the it, 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 tidal wave a tidal wave earthquake they were showing you these things and telling you that even that couldn't stop self-destruction that's what i yeah. was going to say the california dream the hollywood dream the dream to be pretty forever is self-destructive and that self-destructive nature is even more powerful than some of things in nature that's what they were implying here that's mm-hmm. what i got from this on a surface level? On the surface, yo. Damn, well, it's weird is- because when you did talk about like even fornication, start thinking about the deeper meaning of that word, the biblical meaning, then a tidal wave, you start thinking about the flood, and it's almost like you can do all that and it's just going to come back, right? But then the, for me, like especially that firstborn unicorn line, I'm like, bro, that's – listening to it now, I'm like, Gosh, that is so dark. But that's the reality is that people have this dream and this vision of I'm going to go live this glamorous life. But then they get swept up and eaten by the dark side of Hollywood. And that's somebody's firstborn unicorn sometimes. Well, let me tell you how I took it. And this is probably totally wrong. But what you're saying, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic way to read that example. I'm looking at it like some people go to Hollywood, they don't make it, and they end up sacrificing their own children to the industry as well because it goes into that soft blah, blah, blah at the end too. Yeah. So I'm taking it in mad different ways, and I'm like, I'm actually scared. Like, I'm like, yo, I got to get out of this This is where it gets weird because we're talking about surface, just the, hey, this is just like the, you know, because it it is a song about that. It's a song about the dark side of of Hollywood and the California dream, right? I don't think I've ever heard the P-O-R me N-word either. In a I song. did not catch. I didn't any even of know this. that was in this song until my right homie now. Taylor. My homie Taylor was like, "Yo, you got to listen to the song again." You know what I mean? So I was like, "I trust you. We're on the same wavelength, right?" But when you say that, man, this is where like all this stuff, bro. All all this, you know, all these allegations against, like, let's say the 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 Cosbys, the Weinstein's, like, they've been talking about this. For years. And it's the secret that everybody knew. Everybody knew, right? But nobody was calling anybody out on this. So when I hear songs like this, I'm like, yo, are they trying to low-key give us breadcrumbs? Because now there's these new allegations coming out about Diddy. There's all these allegations, you know, talking about, like, maybe what really happened to, to Michael Jackson. There's, you know, I've heard stories that, like, Bieber's trying to allude to certain things in his music and saying certain things and dropping little hints. They're talking about how the dude, I think it was a guy who ran like in sync or one of those boy bands. He was on, on this stuff. There's just the other dude from Nickelodeon. But right? the other thing we also have you have heard to, that one. No, but what I was going to say is the breadcrumbs. Are they coming from the group or the writers? Is there a writer who's trying to get the info out? Because a lot of this stuff is manufactured. Like, I don't know about the red hot chili peppers. But yeah. If this is just it's the kind of, this is, I didn't expect, this is not a normal reaction. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is crazy. This is like, we're in a different Now do land. you understand why I want, why I want to do this one? I don't know if this is a good or bad, but it's like, P, I don't know what people are going to think when they kick play on this. I don't think I've ever done a musical reaction that got this wild. Like this is on some, like when we're reacting to, well, it's weird, you know, man. This is the last little tidbit that I'm gonna leave you. Cause it's just coming out. Right. Nickelodeon, right. The dude's getting 
called out now. Drake Bell, who was one of the stars of the TV show, is saying that he was, you know, handled un- inappropriately. And the guy, the logo of Nickelodeon, you know what it was? A foot. Do you know why? No. Why does that make sense? Why would a dude have a foot as the logo of Nickelodeon, a kid's thing? Because he's got a foot fetish. So we, they literally put that. He had a swimming pool shaped like a foot, and the logo of Nickelodeon is literally a foot. So when I hear a song like this, I'm just trying to circle it back. It's like I think there's certain people in the industry who've been trying to call this out and say, hey, this is what's really going on in Holly Weird. These are the dark things behind the scenes we're not allowed to talk to. And I'm wondering, like, were they trying to spread that message and be like, hey, there's some stuff going on beneath the surface. But what I got, you got to give it to your mama. (laughs) Forty. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you for being some man Ugh. 40 years down the road back again F-U-Q-Boy